Hi there, this is Paul from the Human Pal team. Now in this video, I'm going to continue with what we covered in the previous video is you created the human face using our human face generator, right? You went through the different nuances of it. I know it was super easy to do so and you saved that created face, right? Now what the goal is, is now that particular human face that you generated, we're going to convert that and customize that over into a human pal. Now, that means effectively that face gets put on to one of our human spokespersons and that way you create your very own custom human spokesperson. Now, as I mentioned before, just to clarify, just so we are on the same page, these are very advanced features and therefore the idea is understand how to use the application first and therefore we highly, highly recommend that you first use the actual human paths that are already in our application to generate your first few videos for the first seven days or so and get a hang of it, right? Watch our tutorial videos and understand how different features work and then start customizing your own human pal and all that kind of good stuff because then you'll understand, okay, these are the strengths, this is how this technology exactly works, these are the kind of videos that I can create, this is all the things that I can do, then you can amplify the strengths and create even better videos. Otherwise, what happens is you're gonna just jump in, you're gonna start creating a bunch of videos and then be confused why your video is coming out this way or that way and you will not be able to utilize it to the fullest potential, okay? So I highly recommend right now as you're creating your videos, just use one of our existing human pals, create your videos and understand how to use the application the first uh, seven days. After that, you have the app pretty much for as long as you wish. So therefore, you can happily use those features that are available, the advanced features. And you know, what we've seen is that because of some photos, because of this technology, you know, when you put them over into one of our human pals, some may not look perfect, some, you know, because of lighting or the direction of the face and that sort of thing may not be perfect. So this is the reason why, because of the fact that you know, it's such an advanced technology, it is important that you understand that once you know how to use this software with our existing human pals, how to add animations, how to add effects and that sort of thing, it becomes very easy thereafter for you to actually start using these advanced features, okay? So that's a big important thing. I know you're excited to start using the application and get up and running, but sometimes you have to go through them in paces. That will allow you also to be an expert in this offer and start actually providing results. And of course, since we're providing a lot of training as well in the form of workshops and that sort of thing on how to get results with the technology, it is important that you know the basics and the fundamentals before you go into uh, advanced features like what I'm showing you right now. All right, so that said, um, Assuming you wanna go in and after the first uh, few days of using it, this is when I want you to watch this video. I will show you now, I'll go into my computer screen and show you exactly how to create your own and customize your own human pal. All right, so let's go through the AI human photo generator as we like to see here. Now in here we have emotion, gender, age, ethnicity, and some uh, information that you can customize. So for example, if I put emotion as neutral, gender as female, and age as a young adult, and the city as maybe uh, white, Asian, black, Latino, let's say if we put Asian, for example, we can even change the eye color, like whatever you want. We can put all, hair length, all, right? And basically click generate, and then we get the human actual people here that do not exist. So we could choose whoever we'd like. I'd like to pick ones which are facing head on. So for example, something like this would be perfect. So then all I have to do is click on the save button here. Now when you click the save button, what happens is that it gets saved in the library. So the same thing would apply. Say for example, if I change the ethnicity here uh, to uh, white for example, and then change uh, to an adult and then put a uh, male here and then click generate. So it would generate the same way as you can see here. So it gives you multiple options as you can see. Now in this example, uh, let's say I like this one, I could click save here as well. So where this would come into play is once you've finished selecting everything, say for example, you go to create video and we choose one of the templates here, right? it could be anything, but let's say we chose this template here and then we chose uh, any spokesperson here, let's say for example, Let's say we chose uh, Thomas here, for example, and then we put the script in like so, and then we change the voice. Let's say we can do it with any voice if you wish, right? Let's say I like uh, Logan's voice as an example. Doesn't really matter. Click next and then click next again. 
And uh, here we go to the last step. Now in here, once this page loads up, and this doesn't even matter what template it is. So for example, it could be any template, it could be mockups, it could be, for example, uh, virtual studios, whatever it might be. Here is where we add, you see this custom human pal? So when I click on that button here, the two that I saved, you see that uh, those two I just saved, they will show up here under the media library. Does that make sense? So you'd always wanna generate the human uh, in using that button on the top that I showed you earlier. You go in there and then you get that saved. And then once it is saved, you can go into the custom human pal and then upload it. So for example, if I upload this person right here, like so that I just saved, it's gonna take a few seconds and then automatically it's gonna update the face of that human pal I just chose. In this case, it was Thomas. And it's going to basically change the face over into this new individual. As you can see here right now, it shows me the new face of the individual like that you see here. So that's the new human pal that got created using the custom human pal feature. So in other words, to summarize, to be able to change the face of any of your human pals, first step is to go up here, AI human photo generator, choose the parameters that you wish to change. And then once you've created that, click on save. And then once you do so, you come into this last step here and then click on the custom human pal, the saved human pal that you have will be here. And then you just select the person and you have it selected. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. Just make sure that the person that you're changing makes sense. Like you don't want to, for example, uh, put a female face over it. Wouldn't make any sense. So, for example, if I put her, the output will look very strange and it will not look professional. It will not look good, right? So this is something to keep in mind when you're trying to generate these human uh, pals where you're using the custom human generator, which is basically you see this. It doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, same thing would apply if I use a female like so. It would not come out good. So always make sure that if the ethnicity of that person is white, you'd wanna basically create a custom human generator. It will be a white male, maybe of similar age group or something like that. And that way it comes out professional. It looks realistic, doesn't look weird. As an example, I'll show you. This one right here, Danny right here, would make perfect sense because of Thomas's looks, right? So now you'll see when I actually change the face, it looks pretty much like a real human being. And that way the output that you're trying to achieve will also be really professional and look as good as possible. You see that? So this is what we are trying to achieve here. So keep that in mind. So for example, if I pick and I go back here and I pick, uh, let's say for example, um, let's say we pick any template here and we pick, let's say an African American individual like so, uh, like Aaron, or let's say for example, we pick a Gwen here, whoever it might be, you'd wanna match based on that, right? Let's say for example, if I'm picking Aaron here, right? I'd wanna go back to the human uh, AI human generator like so, I'll go back here and I would go in gender male, age I'll put, I can put either adult or elderly, it doesn't really matter. And I'll put ethnicity as black, okay, very important. And then I can click generate, and then I could pick people related to that ethnicity. So for example, I could pick someone like this, I could pick, for example, uh, someone like this, for example, it would make sense. So when you're changing the face over, so make sure that you do that. So the output comes out great. So in the case of a female, the same thing would apply. So if I go, it's a white female, I'm trying to do, I could do the same thing or a black female, let's say it's a black female, I do adult or elderly, it doesn't really matter who you're trying to pick, and then you would pick that way. So for example, in this case, if I do adult and then a female, I have uh, quite a bit here, right? And then I could choose somebody who would match that uh, ethnicity that I'm trying to reach. So that the output comes out professional, right? So for example, if I wanted to change, I would use any one of them that would match this, right? So I could pick her, right? For example, and that sort of thing. And you have multiple choices to pick from when you click on the show more option here, right? When you click show more, you have a lot more other choices. Uh, you can pick her, for example, that sort of thing. So match it with the ethnicity of that person that you're trying to uh, do the actual face changing in human pal, okay? That will give you the best result, best output, and it will also allow you to simplify the process where you already outlined what you wanted to do, and then you can use these copyright free photos to create your very own human pal based on this specific step. Step one, go to AI human photo generator, generate the photo and the actual person. And then in the last step of uh, 
human pal you go in here under the step number seven create your video custom human pal and then upload that and then it's going to show you how the uploaded video would uh, look like more or less you can see with these photos and if you want to change again you can go back and change and then when you finish up by adding the background media or all these other customizations which the other tutorials anyway covered you can click next and render the video out and you should be good to go so hope you found this video helpful and uh, enjoy using this feature